ಹಲೋ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ನಿರಲ್ ಗೆಹೆರೆ ಮಟ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಿಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ಫುಲ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಕ್ಯುರೇಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಲಾಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಹೌ ಸ್ಟೆಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ first introduction we need to write introduction it is very important to attract evaluators so here i given a introduction and elaboration or after that conclusion these three points are very important while answering and these introduction and conclusions attracts the evaluators and we may get more marks as students first introduction statistics has become so important today statistics is part and parcel of economics commerce and business management in modern age of in modern age statistical information and methods are widely used in many fields like business engineering social physical and natural science almost every aspects of human activity economic and non economic activities are based on statistical measurements statistics for economics concern itself with the collection processing and analysis of specific economic data it helps us understand and analyze economic theories and denote correlations between variables such as demand supply price output etc next uh, elaboration of the main question that is importance of statistics let us understand this in some detail first point statistics helps in sp- simplifies complex data once again i would like to repeat first importance of s- statistics in economics that is statistics helps in specify simplifying complex data statistics helps in simplifies complex data that means statistics statistics also helps to reduce the bulk data of the bulk of the data means statistics helps in simplifying or simplifies complex data it means that statistics also helps to reduce the bulk of the data with the help of statistical methods a mass data can be presented in such a manner that they become easy to understand right and for example the complex data may be presented as total averages percentage etc statistical methods present meaningful information in other words statistics helps in simplifying complex data to sim- simple to make them understandable the data may be presented in the form of a graph diagram or through an average or coefficient etc this is all about first point and second point a very important second point statistics helps in formulating policies statistics renders a great service in the formulation of economic policies 
planning and policy making by the government is based on statistics many policies such as date of sorry such as that of agbekidu that of import export wages production etc formed on the basis of statistics here uh, one mistake i made uh, this uh, date uh, this is not date this is that uh, many policies such a such as that of export import wages production etc formed on the basis of statistics statistics enable the government to use a scientific approach to investigate investigate all variable statistics enable the government to use a scientific approach to investigate all available evidence in formulating policies that are more effective to achieve the desired outcome statistics provide evidence needed to improve decision making document results and also enhance public accountability with the help of statistics we can frame favorable policies and third point statistics helps in forecasting statistics facilitate forecasting or predicting future statistics helps to predict the future behavior of phenomena such as market situation for the future in predicted on the basis of available statistics of past and present for example it also predict statistics helps in forecasting and it is statistics also predicts the future course of action of the phenomena we can make future policies on the basis of estimates made made with the help of statistics we can predict the demand for goods in 2005 if we know the population in 2004 on the basis of growth rate of population in the past similarly for example a businessman can exploit the market situation in a successful manner if he knows about the trends in the market the statistics helps in shaping future policies and fourth point statistics helps in comparing different sets of figures comparison is an important function of statistics for example comparison of data different regions parts conditions etc is helpful for drawing economic conclusions some of the statistical tools like averages ratios percentages etc used for the comparison after simplifying the data it can be correlated as well as compared the relationship between the two graphs or two groups is best represented by certain mathematical quantities like average or coefficients etc comparison is one of the main function of statistics as the absolute figures convey a very less meaning then next fifth very important point that is statistics helps to test and formulate theories when someone sorry when some theory is to be tested statistical data and techniques are useful these 
statistical methods helps us in formulating and testing the hypothesis for a new theory with the help of statistical techniques we can we can know the effect of imposing tax on the exports of tea on the consumption of tea in other countries the other example could be to study whether credit squeeze is affect in checking inflation or not some another example i would like to give whether cigarette smoking causes cancer whether demand increases affects the price can be tested by collecting and comparing relevant data and sixth very important point statistics helps in presenting facts in a definite form the facts can be given a definite form with the help of statistical study the definiteness is achieved by stating conclusions in a numerical form we can represent the things in their true form with the help of figures without a statistical study our ideas would be vague and indefinite the facts the facts are to be given in a definite form if the results are given in numbers then they are more convincing or convincing then it the results are expressed on the basis of quality the statement like there is lot of unemployment in india or population or population is increased a faster rate are not in the definite form please understand the statement please concentrate on the statement statistical statistics helps in presenting facts in a definite form the first statement which is given here in the slide the statement is there is a lot of unemployment in india or or population in population is increased at a faster rate or not in in the definite form the unemployment in india or population is increased these two statements are not definite in sense but the statistics gives us a, differ, a definite form of the statement for example the statement should be in definite form like the population in 2004 would be 15% more as compared to 1990 the statement is definite it gives with the figures and data so that the statement is very definite the definite statement is given by statistical statistics or the definite statements are framed with the help of statistics got it and seventh very important point statistics studies relationship statistics helps in studying the relationship between different economic factors means statistical methods helps for studying the 
relationship between different variables we can use factors or variables both are same for example relationship between supply and demand relationship between sugar cane price and sugar relationship between advertisement and sale etc the last important point eighth point to measure uncertainty future is uncertain but statistics help the various authorities in all the phenomena of the world to make correct estimation by taking and analyzing the various data of the part so the uncertainty could be decreased as we have to make a forecast we have also to create trend behavior of the past for which we use techniques like regression interpolation and time series analysis conclusion these days statistical methods are applicable everywhere there is no field of work in which statistical methods are not applied economic planning without statistics is bound to be baseless statistical data and statistics are useful in economic analysis statistical analysis are used in solving different economic problems such as consumption production distribution investment unemployment etc index number time series analysis demand analysis forecasting techniques etc are some tools in statistics which are frequently used in economics in conclusion statistics plays a very important role in all aspects of life and need needs to understood to understand all the subjects in which it is important as discussed above dear students if you have any doubts please raise your questions in comment box and please like the video and share with your friends subscribe now and press bell icon so that you will never miss any update Thank you for watching this episode.